Right, get ready, you are going to see something special. Get ready to have your socks forcibly blown off. <sighs> yep, pretty much sums up my teenage years. Hello and welcome back. Today I want to continue our look at unofficial apps on the QNAP NAS. Now today I want to look at a few uh, more HDMI based ones and I've looked at a few gaming ones out there. And these are the ones that have probably had the most following online. So straight away we're going to look at different games available on the QTS platform via HD station. So first and foremost, at the bottom left there we've got Lemmings. We've got uh, all kinds of pool games here. We've got Spotify. We've got coding. We'll discuss as many as possible. Let's go straight into the first one, Skype. Now, this is the one that let me down a little bit, to be honest. I can understand that a lot of these apps just aren't fully supported as much as they could have been. But there's still no denying it. Skype via HDMI, I can see a lot of advantages on a NAS for that. First and foremost, the ability to be able to share those photos with your family members all over the world. Now, a lot of people, they don't want to have to have everyone crowd around a laptop. If you've got the NAS based in your front room, connect a webcam, boom, you could have had a sharing center already readily available to you. But sadly, that wasn't to be. So the Skype app is no longer supported and no longer upgraded. So there's no firmware on that. So as good as the idea of Skype is, unfortunately, you're gonna have to abandon that for your HD station on QNAP. But the um, YouTube application is absolutely brilliant. It rivals probably the only other uh, particularly great YouTube app, which is on the PlayStation 4. This gives you full access to the entire YouTube library in this wonderful interface. And once again, this is uh, available via the HD Station app on your QNAP NAS over HDMI, giving you, uh, via your QNAP, full access to the, uh, the YouTube app. Once again, I think this is not this is pretty, you know, similar to the PlayStation 4 and console version that's readily available out there. And here we go, we're gonna, if I'm gonna do a search for a video on YouTube, I'm obviously gonna choose one of my own videos. I am that arrogant. Um, but as you can see, it's running, you know, glitch free. Obviously my recording of this video is obviously gonna lower the frame rate, so you've gotta take that into account. But take my word for it that when this was displaying via HDMI, it was running at full speed. And I think this was 1080p, this one. It's at, uh, HD there at the top. And this was one of my videos that's probably a little outdated now, Synology versus QNAP. But there's still no denying it, the YouTube application ran sweet as a nut and I really did enjoy it. That said, as you can see on screen, I did have difficulty trying to find my way out of the app. Um, because obviously a lot of these apps, because they're not tested as well as they could have been, the result is that sometimes you find it quite difficult to be able to exit the applications or for them, you know, just the little things. They run stably enough. Being, being able to act, um, exit an app via the HDMI HD station software can sometimes be quite problematic. And in the case of this, I tried using a lot of the mini settings and it kept trying to tell me to synchronize my YouTube account or my phone. Um, and none of that was really working for me to try to find my way out of this application. It got quite frustrating. So as good as the app is, um, there, you know, there's work still to be done on it. And once again, because it's an unofficially supported app, on the QNAP NAS platform, it's very hard to turn around and say, you know, you do better, because once again, this isn't something that's readily available. So I think I might have even had to reset the HD station application, um, which is a bit annoying, uh, unlike a lot of other apps that are sort of working in the background. This unfortunately was one that I had difficulty getting out of. It ran like a dream, and you can probably date uh, when this was recorded as well, just by some of the content you're seeing on screen. But then I found out a right click, remove full screen, and then boom, I could get out of it. So I started wondering what's the next application we're going to look at today. And of course, I went, I considered Lemmings, but I wanted to save Lemmings for a whole video unto itself. So I thought I'd give this Paul app a try. And again, this was really good. Um, I was able to control this with the remote control that the QNAP arrives with, that was particularly impressive because all you have is up, down, left, right, and an enter and a back button. But it still gave me enough versatility to play this pool game via my HDMI port um, on the on my TV on, in my front room. Now, of course, I'm playing up against an AI, which was insanely difficult. Look at that flickering problem there with the light over the table. But there's still no denying that this is quite impressive. The graphics, I'm not going to say are breathtaking, because of course they're not. These are like 2001, 2002 graphics. But I quite liked the idea that I had this option. Maybe if I've got a few, few friends over time to kill, this game wasn't that bad. And for an unofficial app, I think there's a lot of scope 
Oh, terrible potting of the white there. There's a lot of scope, I think, for a lot of these games being readily available on the QNAP platform via the NAS. Um, you know, people like this sort of thing, and this uh, there's a lot of Eastern culture as well, uh, with stuff like karaoke and the mini games. There's other, uh, Minecraft is something I really need to visit on here. I've played that. And there's a, a Mario Kart ripoff as well. It's a little bit more like Crash Bandicoot. But that said, I'm probably going to wrap the video up here. Uh, we will talk about some of the other unofficial apps soon. We'll be talking about LibreOffice and, of course, Lemmings, if I can get it to work properly, and Tetris 2. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheerio.